the kitchen. And remember, always have fun in the kitchen and cook with love. Welcome back to another episode of Victoria's Family Kitchen, Cooking with Love. Today, our family is going to take you on a culinary adventure showing you how to make homemade Italian bread from scratch and Italian turkey cheese herb stuffed meatballs. Ariana and I are going to show you all how to make an easy and delicious homemade bread. And we're going to put on top of it Italian seasonings. All right, so we're going to do our base here. What we're going to have for our dough is we have four cups of bread flour and you want to make sure you use bread flour when you're making bread and pizza doughs because it gives it that nice fluffy texture that you want from your bread and your doughs. So we have four cups of bread flour and then we have two tablespoons of yeast. So Ariana can pour our yeast in. A little bit? Yep, you can just pour all of it in. Then we have two tablespoons plus one teaspoon of organic pure raw cane sugar. You know, we talked about it before, if you're gonna use sugar, we wanna use pure raw cane sugar. And then if you can go the organic version, you wanna do that too. So two tablespoons plus one teaspoon, just pour it all in of organic pure raw cane sugar. Good job. Thank you. It is a little sticky. Good. And then we have one and a half teaspoons of salt. You can use table salt if you want to, but it's better to use kosher salt. Um, you just want one and a half teaspoons of that. Some people like a little more salt or a little less salt. So you could, if you don't like as much salt, do one teaspoon. If you like a little more salt flavor in your bread, you can use two teaspoons, but I wouldn't go past two teaspoons. And just give it enough to yep. stick it. Put it in. Good job. And so then Ariana's gonna whisk together all of our dry ingredients. And we put, like we said, two tablespoons of yeast in here because we want to use um, yeast so the bread can what is, puff, up. puff up or rise. Yeast is going to help our bread rise up. So you just want to stir it together. Keep on stirring it. There you go. Good. And then we're going to do four tablespoons of canola oil. And you basically can use any type of oil that you want. Just pour all of it in. Good job. I'm going to take the whisk out and tap that whisk. And then you want to do two cups of warm water. Your water needs to be warm because if your water is too hot, it's going to kill the yeast. If it's too cold, the yeast isn't going to activate. So you just want to do like when you take a warm bath, you want to do warm water. Put your hands in it and make sure it's warm. Pour all of it in. Don't be scared. Dump it all in. Good job. And then you want to stir it together. And so Ariana's stirring that together. It looks so good. It does look good. Let's let everybody see what it looks like. All right, and now what you want to do is you want to add about one cup of bread flour. Um, so we're going to just add in about one cup of bread flour. I'm going to pour that in. And now we want to start shaping our ball of dough. That was a little bit more than one cup, but I'm just eyeing it. And so you want to stir it together. Make sure you scrape it's up the side. Harder. It is going to get harder because it's going to start to thicken up into that dough that we want. It's even sticking to the side. Yes, it is. And so while Ariana's finishing that up, I'm going to sprinkle some dough on a nice clean surface that I have here. Some flour, I mean. We're stirring up the dough and sprinkling flour on a nice clean surface. Well, we put flour Good on job. The dough. And I'm going to pass this to Ariana. You want to just do a nice little sprinkle of bread flour on your surface. Now, if you don't have bread flour, it's okay. You can use all-purpose unbleached flour. Um, you may need to knead it longer, which we're about to show you how to knead. Um, but that bread flour is really going to give you that nice texture that you want that makes a nice fluffy bread. All right, so this is what we got so far after we added that extra one cup of bread flour. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start kneading the dough in the bowl for a while. So I have bread flour on my clean hands and I'm just gonna scrape it up first. Let me get this first, Ariana. And I'm gonna get a little bit more flour because this dough is it's very warm and it's very fragile at first. So what you can do is you can knead it in the bowl first. And even if you don't have a clean counter space at home, you can still knead your dough in your bowl and I'll show you how to do that for a while. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scrape up all the sides then I'm gonna press down, press it down. Then I'm gonna scrape the sides, press down. 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 And that's how you can knead in your bowl. You need a little more flour? 
I do need a little bit more flour in a, in a minute. Gonna knead it in the bowl, gonna scrape the side, press down. Scrape the sides, press down. Swish it to the side, press down. Swish it to the side, press down. You can sprinkle a little bit of flour. And so this is the consistency that we have right now. So that is the beginning of our nice ball of dough. So I'm gonna ask Ariana to slide that over. And we have our nice clean surface that's been floured. All right. So we're gonna get Ariana to just put this shape into a ball and nicely firm it up, yep. There you go. And then she's gonna cut that in half. Good job. And what is it that you're cutting with? A dough knife. A dough knife. Is it sharp? No. no, it's not sharp. All right, you can keep that to your side. Good job. All right, so we both have our pieces of bread dough. All right, so now we're going to knead the dough. How do you knead the dough, Ariana? We're going to push it uh -huh, and fold it, then fold it again. Now, there is really no wrong way to, to knead a dough. There are so many different ways. What works for you works for you. Um, sometimes I can push it away, fold it, and fold it again like we did when we made our pizzas. Or I can use my fist and push it away and then keep going like that, right? Some people do that, okay? So I'm gonna do whatever feels comfortable for me. And I'm getting Ariana passing that flour because it's getting sticky, so we need a little bit more. A little bit more flour. So let's just sprinkle some extras on the table here. Not too much. So we're gonna continue kneading our dough for about 10 minutes. You ready? Yeah. Let's work those muscles. Push, fold, fold. Again, push, fold, fold. Work those muscles. Push, fold, fold. Why is it getting sticky? Push, fold, fold. So what do you need? Flour. Push, fold, fold. That's good. Push, fold, fold. Some people, like I said, even use their fists. I could do that with mine. Yeah, and you want to knead it for 10 minutes because that's going to help your bed to be, your bread with the elasticity of it. Help it to stretch. It's not a long time. It is a long time. So we're going to keep kneading and kneading and kneading. Until you say stop. Yeah. There we go. I'm going to borrow some of your flour. <laughs> I put a little bit too much for you. Whoa. Hundreds of customers have relied on us to get their vehicles moving again. We're reliable and dependable. We're Locks and Flats. Thank you for choosing us. Thanks Locks and Flats for all your help. Ethan Evans here, and I'm here in front of Trevenia Wine and Bar. I'm excited to announce the start of Henrico Restaurant Week 2018. Let's take a look inside. The event benefits the Henrico Police Athletic League. Visit HenricoRestaurantWeek.com for details. Ready, set, go. <laughs> oh, I got skills. You got skills, Ernie? Yeah. See? Let's do it. You want to see how fast I can go? How fast can you go rolling around in flowers? <laughs> All right, good job. Now, what we want from our dough is, we want to have like a little bounce back. So, what I'm gonna do is, I am going to push my finger into the dough and see how much bounce back I get. All right, all right, make a ball. I, I can make really good balls. Let's see. It's bouncing back just a little bit, so I need to knead it a little bit more. trick for kneading your dough. Um, this is what we teach the kids in our youth cooking classes at Victoria's Kitchen. Um, instead of squeezing the dough with your fingers like
like slime, you want to pretend like your fingers are broken sometimes. Or you can tell the kids if they have to use their fingers, tell them they can grab the dough like this, like they're picking up a football, and then push it in. Grab it, push it. Grab it, push it. Grab it, push. It's like grab and squeeze. It's like doing half a squeeze. And sometimes that works. Good job. Like going like this. Grab, pick it. Grab, pick it up. Pick it. Grab, pick it up. I think I need a little more flour. You think so? Not See? too much. You don't want to use too much flour if you don't have to. All right, let's make a ball. Okay, I can make a ball. Make a ball. All right, and let's do that one more time. How much poke back we got? It's getting there. So what we can do now is, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get these ready. Good job. We're gonna get these ready to do the first rise. We're gonna do two rises for these. So what we wanna do is to take our hands, and you just want to fold that bottom part, fold it under. Fold it under into a ball. Good job. And that's our little ball. Now, I just like to sprinkle flour on top to make it smooth. A little bit, just a little bit. Like just a teeny bit. And smooth it on top. It's like you're making Good job, and let it sit there for a minute, just like that. You want to tap some of that off. Lift it up and tap it off. You don't want too much flour. There you go. All right, we're going to get Ariana to put the bowl right here for us. All right, so what we want to do is we want to pour oil in our bowl that it's going to rise in because it needs to be able to rise and spread freely. The oil is going to help it to have some room to stretch around. All right, so Ariana, you're going to pour together. Pour just a little oil in there. And then she's going to take her fingers and just spread it all around the bowl, all around the sides of the bowl. Yep, all around the sides. Good job. And we're going to put ours in here, one right beside each other. And you always want to make sure that you wrap it with some plastic wrap. Um, there's even been times when I've made this and I didn't have any plastic wrap and I used a grocery bag that I wiped off with because you just want to be able to wrap it nicely. You can also use a warm kitchen towel. And then you want to put this in the warmest spot in your kitchen or in your house. Sometimes you can put it on top of a warm dryer. Sometimes you can sit it on top of a stove, but put it on a pan to where your plastic isn't in any danger of burning or catching on fire or melting. So we're gonna go put this in the kitchen, um, which is our hottest place in the kitchen is next to our stove. So here's another Victoria's Kitchen hack tip. When making pasta, to get more flavor, just add chopped garlic to your boiling water. Welcome back to Victoria's Kitchen. Now we're about to make our Italian cheese veggie stuffed turkey meatballs. Are y'all ready? Yeah! <laughs> so first what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut up all of our veggies. We want to get as many servings of vegetables as we can in every single meal. It's good for the kids, it's good for us older people, it's good for people even older than us. It's just good for everybody. So first we're going to chop up our bell peppers. You can use any of your favorite pe peppers in this. So we're going to chop up our bell peppers. So you can help me, Mommy. Thank you for letting me help you. So we're going to say bear claws in the cave. Which bear means, claws in the cave. Which means we cut, hold our fingers back so we don't get cut. And put your ends on the table. That's right. And put your ends on the table. <laughs> That's right. So you want to chop them up. And just let the kids go at it and have fun. I just took this off instead of bear claws in the cave, Ariana. You can eat it. Turn it off. Turn it off. You can eat it. Right there. You can eat this. Right. You can't eat this. This is one of Ra Rachel's favorite snacks. She didn't say one. Yes. And since we haven't cut, um, touched the turkey yet, it's okay for her to take, um, to give it a taste. Now, what you want to do is make sure you take out the ribs and the seeds because they're a little bitter. I'm shooting the seeds out. Good job. Nice pieces. It's not wasting anything. She's cutting around the top part. Watch your fingers, Ariana. That's good. There you go. She's not wasting anything. Good job. <laughs> Make her have spicy bell peppers. Well, good job. It. Now, these are nice little dices that you want to have for your Italian cheese, turkey stuff, veggie meatballs. Good job. Can I see dice her bell pepper was this big, y'all remember? Uh -huh. And now this is the only thing that's left from it. <laughs> Teach kids when they're younger to love their vegetables. They don't have to like the same vegetables as you. You just wanna, did you do it again? <laughs> you just wanna get them in the kitchen 
letting them eat as much as they can of the vegetables. When you start when they're younger, it's I'm easier like, to get them to keep eating better as they grow. Like with me, I didn't realize I need to eat better until I was in college, so it made it harder for me. But it was easier since we um, raised Rachel up especially um, just to eat as many vegetables Rachel as possible. Rachel ate it again. She ate it all. Okay, so Rachel's, I'm gonna help her chop because <laughs> her veggies are gonna keep disappearing. Yeah, because she keeps eating Good job, them. Jazzy. You can cut up another I'm one. I'm dicing them after I just chop them, now I'm dicing them. <sighs> The way they'll smell. What? Now be can careful. Can you help me? Yes, because they're sick. You have a safety it. knife. Rachel just keep Good eating. job. Gotta have a variety of different colors. Different color. Can I get another color? Well, now we're gonna chop up some onions, which can make you. Yeah. Dream Vacations Heavens Travel is your local travel expert. Cruise the Hawaiian Islands with friends and family, all in the name of a good cause. The Sunshine Group benefits teens looking for a home through the Alpha Omega Academy. Visit heavenstravel.net for more information. Hundreds of customers have relied on us to get their vehicles moving again. We're reliable and dependable. We're Locks and Flats. Thank you for choosing us. Thanks, Locks and Flats, for all your help. There is something to be said about the man that chooses the road less traveled. Those roads represent the map of my life and are the fabric of MTK Premier Auto Boutique. With passion comes a mindset. Defy odds, break down barriers, run through obstacles. Automobiles are my passion and servicing you is my mission. Economy, sport, luxury, exotic or classic, regardless of your choice, when it comes to purchasing an automobile, all roads lead to MTK. Quality, convenience, excellence. I am Mike Wiggins, and I am your personal auto consultant. right here so what you want to do is get these they have the large ones the medium ones see this is a larger one hold that up Jazzy Whoa. that's a larger one and this is then they have a medium one and this is a small one these are really good for even toddlers okay yeah oh the onion juice is getting to you all right so we got our onions and our bell peppers it's not, getting, up and dice. it's not getting to me it's not so next we want to move on to our garlic and see and look at look at daddy's um cutting board He's so nice and professional and neat with it. You have all these different colors lined up. And next we're gonna be adding um, some parsley after this. You can that was make a nice crunch. She daddy's strong, so he can just press down directly on the garlic. You wanna try? You can. Let me see if I can do it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to use the back of my knife. Look, I can do it. Okay. Yeah. Can I do it? The onions in your eye. Okay. All right, now after we 
we chopped up all of our veggies, we're gonna take turns cracking our eggs, okay? So you wanna crack your egg when you have little kids, crack them into a container before you pour it into your ground turkey. All right, so Jasmine's gonna crack her egg first. Good job. You got it. <laughs> Good job. Just like that. You like that, huh? Are you ready, Rachel? Let's be careful. Okay, that actually worked out good. Good job. You can take that out. Good job. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Ariana. Can I do another one? I can do it. Stop. Wait. No, Rachel, it's Ari's turn. Ari's turn. Got it. Ari's turn. One? We'll leave it right there. Okay. Good well, job. I'm going to pour some of those in there. And then we're going to, Ari can pour it in there. And the eggs are gonna be our binder. They're gonna be like our, our glue for our meatballs, okay? All right, so then we wanna pour in our breadcrumbs. You wanna try to get Italian breadcrumbs. All right, so Jasmine, you can come on over and you just wanna pour, nope, you can just pour it in, grab it. Okay. And we're gonna pour it together. Good job. And then Ariana can pour it into hers. You say Rachel? All right, well, Rachel can pour it. Give her a chance. Good job. Yes, all Good job. <laughs> Good job. So, so we're gonna set these aside. Thank you. All right, so you all know how our family loves. Thank you, Jasmine, to make our own seasoning mixtures. So we have another seasoning mixture that we have here, like we made on our um, Mexican stuffed chicken episode. Well, remember we talked about how this lasts in your pantry for up to about six months. So we're gonna take some of our extra seasoning here that we have, which is a combination of any of your favorite seasonings. A couple of teaspoons of Italian seasoning, chili powder, garlic and onion powder, kosher salt, ground black pepper, paprika. We got all of this in here. So we're just gonna sprinkle some in here. I'll let you do it. You always wanna do a little bit at a time. All right, Rachel, you can pour that in there. Just pour it all in. Oh, you wanna take your time? Okay. <laughs> Good job. Now you can dump all of it in. Good job. All right, and we're gonna let Ariana and Daddy carefully pour some of that in. Good job. Good job. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start putting in all of our veggies. So Miss Jasmine, you wanna hold your board up and pour your veggies in there? Good job, Rachel. Yours? Good job. Woo! Don't sling it around. Good job. Now you just want to smooth it like that. Now we have all of our ingredients mixed up in our turkey. We have our bell peppers, our onions, our parsley, our eggs, and our breadcrumbs and our special little family seasoning blend that we did. Now we want to take turns mixing all of it up to well incorporate everything that we put in. So Jazzy, you can start mixing that bubble first. And then we put it on the plate. And then we're gonna make meatballs. So can mix it together. Mix, mix the oh. ham together. That's turkey, you can mix it together. And Ariana, you can make sure it's while she's doing that. Let me mix this thing up. Good job. I'm gonna leave some. Ah, oh, it's mm -hmm. getting very good. Always hold your bowl. That's okay, keep going. Hold your bowl. The bowl. You want to let Rachel hold the bowl? Mm -hmm. Good job. That's good teamwork. Good job. Mm -hmm. You can do it. We're working together, Mommy. Good job. I love it. Teamwork in the kitchen. Picture yourself in our window, located in the heart of RVA's Arts District. Come join our Glam Fam and start your business today. Hundreds of customers have relied on us to get their vehicles moving again. We're reliable and dependable. We're Locks and Flats. Thank you for choosing us. Thanks, Locks and Flats, for all your help. Victoria's Family Kitchen Spotlight, highlighting kids and their families cooking in the kitchen and having fun. This week, we'll be highlighting kids from the Next Up RVA program at Lucille Brown Middle School, enjoying Victoria's Kitchen Youth Enrichment Cooking Classes. Please send your pictures to victoriasfamilykitchen at gmail.com. All right, so our dough has a really nice rise to it. You wanna let it rise. That first rise was about maybe 25 to even 27 minutes or so. And you can see it's doubled and a little bit tripled in size. So we're gonna unwrap it. 
There you go. That's a lot of Yeah. Now, don't touch that. And we're gonna just set this to the side. And that is really beautiful. So some people say punch your dough, but I don't think it's necessary for this type of bread dough. So what I'm gonna do is just pull it out very gently. And you can see how big, look how big that is, okay? It just got stuck together. It did get stuck together. All right, so it is nice and warm, so don't mess with it too much. You just wanna place it out on your tray. Don't, don't, don't pat it, don't pat it, don't pat it. Just wanna sit it out on the tray. Nice and fancy. Look at that one. Woo! Make it rain. Make it rain. You like that one? <laughs> Not too much in one spot. And then we have our garlic powder. You don't want too, too much of that. And you can put any of your favorite seasonings up here. When I make it for me and my husband, um, I even use paprika and chili powder and make like a nice spicy bread. So we're gonna take some of our canola oil, maybe about two tablespoons, and we're gonna pour that in. In a little pan. All right. So, now Ari's gonna start passing me some of the meatballs. Just pass me some. Thank you. And I'm gonna put them in. All right, keep passing them. You wanna make sure that your pan is on a medium-high heat. And make sure you space them out. And these are turkey, so even if you don't space them out enough, they're still gonna like steam. Good job. Maybe you need this one. Good job. You can hear it sizzling up. All right, so now we're gonna add some extra flavoring. If you don't have time to make your own marinara sauce, you can also use a traditional marinara. So we're just gonna pour that over top. And that's gonna help it to simmer and give some more flavor. Then we're gonna add a little more flavorings to it. Little sprigs of thyme. They smell good? We can just mm. toss these in, arms up, high away from the pot. Toss them in. Good job. Good job. And then I'm gonna put the lid on and let that simmer for a while. So that's a wrap for this episode of Victoria's Family Kitchen Cooking with Love. We made our homemade Italian bread with our turkey cheese stuffed veggie meatballs. Now it's time for us to dig in. Remember to always have fun in the kitchen and cook with love. Let's dig in. Mm. Remember it's really hot, be careful. I'm not eating no, I'm eating hot. Mmm, it's good. Mm. It is good. Mm. 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 Mm.